Hey everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to do a brief tutorial on how you can take a PDF file that you have and make it to where the students can annotate or type over it or draw over it in Google Slides. So that's what this is going to do. There are maybe a few other ways, but um, through like Chrome extensions or the Kami extension or those Doc Hub is another one. Um, however, this one I think is great, especially for the younger grades um, that allows you to assign a Google Slides presentation. You can make a copy for each student and it has the PDF um, and then it allows them to type where they need to answer or draw if they have that ability. So what you're going to do is this is a PDF I downloaded on math because this is algebra and I love algebra. So um, say I want to do, I don't know, the first, maybe these problems right here, or maybe I want the whole page. If I want the whole page, I'm going to have to do something a little different. So the first step to do this is you're going to have to turn your PDF into an image because we're going to make it a background on a Google slide and backgrounds can only be images. So because of that, we're going to need to make this PDF an image. So what I'm going to use, you may have different snipping tools, but say I want to do the whole thing here. Um, and I just want those problems right there. So I'm going to use my snipping tool of choice right now. I mean, literally in the moment, awesome screenshot. I'm going to say selected area, and then I'm going to select what I want the kids to see. And then I'm going to hit capture. And here it shows up. And I'm just going to leave it just like that. Um, if I wanted to tweak it with, with a marker or, you know, I wanted to change the numbers or, or something, I could do that here. Or I could actually do a text box over it here. And this is all in the awesome screenshot extension. Looks like that little camera, colored camera lens. So I'm going to click done and then I'm going to download it directly to my Chromebook right here. So it's going to go to the downloaded files and it's going to save it as, um, as the, an image. So now it's an image and not a PDF. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to start a new Google slides presentation. a new Google Slides presentation. And then the first thing I want to do is change the size of this. So this is the default. It's like a 16 by nine uh, widescreen is the default. So I'm going to actually um, change the default. And the way to do that, change the size of my slides is to go to file. Now I have to move myself again page setup and here's the widescreen it's this the default i'm going to click on that and go to custom and then i'm going to make it eight and a half by eleven so it is paper sized hit apply so if you didn't know that you could customize your slide sizes there you go i, I was very happy that day that i learned that for the first time so I'm going to get rid of um, my text boxes and I apologize for this being so slow. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to insert this as a background and not an image because the, if I inserted it as an image, it would show up there and I could take up the whole screen, but the kids could click on it and delete it accidentally or whatever. So I'm gonna make it a background and that way they can't delete it. So I'm gonna choose the image of the background and then I'm gonna go to the images that I just downloaded um, and so I'm going to browse there and it's going to go hopefully to my download folder. And I'm just going to take that last image that I just captured.
and I'm going to hit done and there it is in all of its glory and I can click on this slide and it's not going to change um, that those problems are there and I can't click on it and delete it by mistake. So here's a couple of things you could do at this point. Um, you could um, insert little text boxes um, underneath each problem and then just keep doing that. <laughs> or you could just instruct the kids to create a text box under each one to give your answer. You know, I, I think they can figure that out. So that's up to you how much you want to do for them. And then they would just click on the text, text box and, um, and put their answers in. And then you will go to your classroom and I'm going to pull up my classroom here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to name this, um, uh, background presentation. So make sure I know what to call that. And I'm going to go to my classroom. I'm going to create an assignment. And this is going to be the background assignment. Oh no, this was math. This was algebra. This was awesome algebra. And then you give your instructions, however you want to do. You can make your instructions here about um, click into the type text boxes and type in your answers after um, doing the work on your own paper. Or you can say insert a text box under each question to provide your answer and then make sure you turn it in when you're done, that kind of thing. And then, um, so that goes there and then I'm going to add and I'm going to add it from my Google drive. I believe the recent it comes up and I can hopefully we'll see the one I was just working in as my recent, but things are a little slow. So we'll, we'll see. So there it is. There's my Google slides presentation. So I'm going to insert that. So I'm going to add that. And I'm going to change it to um, make a copy for each student. And so every student will have their own um, slides presentation. And as we've talked about before, when they click on the assignment, it's going to pop up on their own copy with their name in it. And then they'll go to it and put the text boxes in and, and put the answers in. And then they'll just turn it in here. So before you assign, make sure you assign a topic, a due date, assign it to the different classrooms or um, to differentiate for the different students and then hit assign. And so that should work. So once again, you're changing the PDF to an image using some kind of snipping tool. I used awesome screenshot, which we should have as a district. And then I inserted the image as a background in Google slides. And so the kids aren't able to get rid of that, the, the problems. So you can do that with, with any PDF. Um, just make it an image, make it the background, and then assign it, make a copy for each student, and there you go. So let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this makes some assignments real easy for you to assign. Have a good day.